All right. So, look, I get it. I get it. Hold on. All right. So, I get it. Usually, I don't speak on rap beefs, but this Kendrick Lamar and Drake rap beef, this war has, it's pulled me in. It's pulled me in. So much so that I am analyzing all these songs. And this is not how I, I, I roll, but this is getting everybody in. Dude, like my, a friend of mine keeps bringing it up. Bring it up. Like I keep hearing about it. And it's, to me, it's no contact. Kendrick got this shit. Kendrick Lamar has won this battle. I don't care about Drake's uh, The Heart Part 6. Not like Gus went hard. It showed us that Kendrick can do the club song that Drake is known for. You know? It'll be a day. It'll be a, a, a elaborate. Oh. Elaborate this. I'm still hearing it in my head. Meanwhile, a heart part six came out. Now I was discussing this with a few friends on Discord. And a friend who's in the beast, who is a Kendrick fan, thinks that this the heart part six went hard. Nah. Nah. I I, I don't see it. And again, I just realized he's still using bits and pieces from Arisa Franklin. Wait, is Arisa Franklin still alive? Hold on. I, I can't really tell these days. All I know is once a nigga like uses AI to like uh get a dead person, uh Oh, she died in 2018, so he's bringing Aretha Franklin into this shit? Okay, hold on. Anyway, look. All I know is this has been some of the craziest... This has been the craziest week ever in regards to rap thieves to the point where I am making a video on this again, okay? Made a video, I believe yesterday, after hearing Not Like Us on the way to um, our friend's house to, you know, celebrate my birthday one more time. Even though it was on the first, but I, you know, I wasn't going to be able to get to see them until Saturday. Had a busy week. However, goodness gracious, this Not Like Us has been good. This is after Euphoria. I got into it, this whole thing with Euphoria, okay? Found out about Taylor Made after Euphoria, what he did with Tupac's uh, uh, AI Tupac track, and that was just, no, uh, that was not the right Jake, I'm sorry, that was. However, then Jake releases Family Matters on Friday, and right after Family Matters, like 30 minutes, what was it like? Uh, There's differing, differing takes, but like for me, it was like 30 minutes. But then 20 minutes later, all of a sudden, Kendrick releases Meet the Grams. And then, like, not even 24 hours later, he releases Not Like Us. And it took Drake to finally respond to both of those songs. Both of those this is two days. You know, he released you know, the heart part six today on Sunday. So I'm recording this. And oh good. I, I don't I don't see the appeal of the heart part six. Cause it like I was telling my friend, and a few people agree. The moment that like this boy Drake, Bobby Graham, 
decided he was going to uh, try to say something along the lines of, hey, I gave you, I put that shit out there so that you could use it. I put out false information so you'd be using it and all that stuff. Or, uh, what was the other thing? Looking at the lyrics. Oh uh, yeah, or <laughs> uh, if I was fucking young girls, I promise I would have been arrested. I'm way too famous for this shit. Just suggest it. It was lame. To me, it was it wasn't that good. It wasn't even worth listening to. It was not it was a slow it it, it, it wasn't even a good rap and I could I feel like, you know, Drake actually wrote this one. It wasn't ghost written, but it was lame to me. It was lame. Because all he's doing is just reiterating the same talking points he tried to put in Family Matters and then trying to, like, beat the allegations that he, uh, he a pedophile, he a pedo, he a geppetto. It's... It's just not worth thought. Meanwhile, <laughs> like you can look on YouTube and see so many people listening to not like us and just fully invested in it. They are like, oh my God, he is cooking. He is cooking Drake. Kendrick is cooking Drake. K Dot is grilling this boy. Okay. I said it in my eyes video. I mean, I've been watching YouTube videos upon YouTube videos upon YouTube of people just going wild about not like us. And I mean, look, in Drake's Family Matters, he addresses, he he, sub, he says along the lines, something along the lines of like, you know, Kendrick beating his wife, beating his girl. And... All that stuff. Now, my friend was like, well, you know, we don't know if he beats his his girl. Uh, if she comes out and says something, you know, maybe, you know, I might believe that he doesn't beat his woman. I'm sitting here thinking in my head, like, yeah, I mean, granted, it is true that a lot of domestic violence cases do not get reported as often. Uh, so it's, it could be a potential that he does. I'm not saying that he does. I'm just saying there is a potential for it. However, she expects her, this woman to just come out to beat the allegations and all that stuff. But in all honesty, when it comes to like celebrities and all that stuff, unless your partner, unless that celebrity's partner is well known, is a public figure, most celebrities who are married to non public, uh, who are with non public people, don't like to bring out the fact that they have that partner. They don't like that partner doesn't like to get in the spotlight. What's the point of bringing them up? Kendrick pretty much did the smart thing and didn't say anything about the fact that, you know, he, he didn't give Drake's um, comment, his, his line about beating his wife any credibility by like trying to defend against it. All he did was go straight for, he went straight for Drake's throat, just like he should. And half the things that he said, it could be confirmed. It could actually be, you know, you could see it over the years. I mean, maybe it not, maybe not all of it could be complete facts, but at the end of the day, there's enough evidence throughout the years that Drake has been Drake and not Aubrey Graham. You could count towards everything that Kendrick says. 
Meanwhile, everything that Drake is saying, there's no evidential proof. He just says things and it just doesn't fit the narratives. And then again, in Drake's response to not like us, and I guess at the same time, meet the Grams. He, the heart part six, it does not do anything to like, all he's doing in it is trying to, uh, Take the pressure off the fact that he may or may not be a pedophile. He, he, he's sitting there addressing that, which is just making it look even worse. It's kind of like that whole thing of like, you know, when, you know, people fart. Let's say uh, you're in a room with a few people and one, one of them farts. And the person who definitely farted. But I don't want to claim it. Well, immediately say, oh, oh, yeah, it wasn't me. Definitely wasn't me. Even though we all know they farted. They know it had to come from them. Because they were the first ones to bring it up. Why are you bringing it up? Just like Kendrick is not bringing up what you said. Why are you bringing up this whole, like, trying to defend yourself against the allegations that you are a pedophile? Or at the very worst, a groomer. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. I don't know. Like, I don't think this was a good... Ret I don't think this is a good response. I don't think it was fire. I don't think it was worth my time. And I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. Like, I literally thought... Like, I actually thought that uh, Phantom Marys actually had some meat to it. it 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 had some bite and i actually was like okay okay he might actually have a chance in this of course then kendrick came out with meet the grams and that was immediately stomped upon and then like you know not like us pretty much just buried the body six feet under drake didn't seem like he was he had any heart in the heart part six. Yeah, I have to keep looking at it. Not like us. On the other hand, that thing lives rent free in my head. Okay. I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to continue talking about it tonight because I need to sleep. It's like 1 a.m. in the morning as I'm recording this. However, I will end this off. With the song that I with the with the diss track that I think is currently winning this round, okay, and that is Tell him please, bro. Nell a nigga to the cross. He walk around like Tizo. What's up with these lonely ass niggas trying to see Compton? They in the street and hate me. Fuck them all in the mama. How many options you really got? I mean, there's too many options. I'm finna pass on this body. I'm John Stockton. Beat your ass and hide the Bible if God watching.